Good morning, ladies. It's Monday Musings time, and I have got a goat case behind my telephone. So, I'm at a lower angle, but I'm on a window pane, and my phone is stuck directly to the window, and I think it's going to be there for about a year, because it's so stuck it won't move. Um, I am... I've woken up feeling unbelievably shattered, and... Um, really, really tired. My skin is absolutely shit. I've been looking at it the last few days and thinking, it's dry, let me get really close, I can show you. It's just dry and feeling without any humectant moisturizer in it. Um, I've, I've got to be really, I've got to own something here. I've been smoking too much. So shit. And I've got to stop! Sugar is okay. Sugar is doing just about all right. Can I just say good morning to everyone? I'm totally on my own here. I don't know where Victoria or Chloe are. It's quite early for them. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Joanna. Good morning, Gillian. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Lana. Good morning, B. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, B. Hi, <laughs> I'm Alison, Tanya. There. Good morning. Um, now let me just put those back, because otherwise the the next ones won't come on. I all right so um i got some new boxes here ow on my toe i got some new boxes here from muji and i just wanted to show you what i use um because a lot of you commented on my cupboard before uh so I, actually i'm going to go to that later let me first of all because i've got quite a big day later and I need to do something about my face so i'm going to do my morning facial with you um and then we'll get on with a lot of things. I've got some new products I want to try. High street, high end. I've got, um, I want to talk about today about acid toners because I've been trying for you and I'm, I'm just liking them. I'm liking putting that toner regime back into, putting that toner thing back into my regime. So for my oh, facial overhaul this morning, because that's what it's got to be, I'm going back into some of my, I did it again. Back in some of my secret servant, I'm gonna start with some bloody exfoliation and I'm gonna do, this is my killer routine. I haven't done this for ages. Gold Farden, Golden Fard, Gold Farden. Um, there we are. And um, this is a really strong exfoliator, uh, stronger than my Lancer. Um, it's a kind of microdermabrization in a, um, tube in a, in a blah in one of those. They come in two strengths, and I've got the not. I haven't got the extreme version. I was reading a lot at the weekend about. Um, uh, there's a lady called India Knight. For those of you not in England, she's a wonderful beauty writer, and she always writes about one product specifically. And kind of you finish reading, you think I have to buy that product now, and then it's sold out around the world, all around England. Um, and she was talking about toners this weekend, about a toner I use, the, the P60 one, which I think I've got here, uh, and um, AHA toners and, and saying, you know, exfoliation, like physical exfoliation only need to be done in uh, liquid. And I kind of, you know that I'm obsessive about exfoliation, so I am not going to change my routine, um, but... I was thinking to myself, when all these people talk about, oh, it scratches your skin surface and you've got to be really careful, I think of all the damage we do to our face and have done to our face over the years, and I feel only the benefits to me of exfoliation, of a physical exfoliation, of a kind of beading on my skin, as well as a toner, as well as a toner. Oh, hello, good morning. I am um, eight months pregnant and my skin is horrid spots on my jawline can you please suggest anything oh i'm sorry i know that spotty tara i know that pregnant skin so well um and i think that one habit i have always kept up with spots and i have had spots i've had acne spots i've had pregnancy spots i've had hormonal spots is the massaging of the skin to release the buildup of that sebaceous gland. However, you have got that spot. And I think it's quite crucial that, let's say you've got jawline hot spots, which are 
inevitably hormonal just to massage and massage and release it once it's there it's there so getting it getting it to go away quicker is not going to be by just using some kind of drying lotion because the i think the um I don't know how many of you, when you have a spot, think, let me dry it out, let me put something on it, let me put a little salicylic acid on it, and you get the skin around it very dry, but the contrast between the extreme dryness of the topical um, ointment you put on your spot compared to the area around it doesn't help heal your spot. I think drying lotion's okay, but don't be worried about still moisturizing because you need to keep the skin, ah, there's Victoria. Hold on my thought. Hold, hold my thought. Hold my thought. Okay, she's here. So any of those ingredients, Victoria, I love Victoria. You know, Victoria's joined us with Chloe and she is fantastic on ingredients. And when we talk about toners later, we're going to talk a lot about AHA, BHA, glycolic, hyaluronic acid. Uh, ingredients that are in the current Daytona's and Daytona, Daytona, uh, and what what they're doing for you. Okay, good morning, uh, Scan. Good morning, I'm eight months for gifts. So I am. Um, I think for someone like Tara, getting in there, moving around the skin, releasing some of the toxin in the spot. Once you've got it, once you've got it, you've got it. And massaging, and I've done that quite a lot recently, and it's helped them stop becoming the huge throbbers, and the ones that are going to be pussy and prick a bit, it's going to help them get the stuff out anyway. So I would say that. Um, I'm now going to take off my, um, my exfoliator. Um, Victoria, yeah. do you want to get a computer? You've got a computer, darling. So Victoria's here to take over your questions and answer any. Oh. Oh my God, I need that. What? Morning from Finland. Morning from Finland. Come on, how fat out. I'm watching a lot of Scandi shows right now. Okay. Now I've been trying a mask, which is by Dennis Gross. And I have to say, my first for raw into this mask was not good. In fact, it was a tremendously frustrating, but I always give something a second chance. I got this from Space NK, um, and it's a green mask. It says Hyaluronic Marine Hydrating Model Mask. There we go. Uh, and it's kind of got that nice, you know how when you have to play around with a mask and you have to, ah, shoot, and you have to put things together. You, I always feel when I have to take one ingredient with another ingredient like that, ooh, that by putting them together, the ingredients will become active. And that's always exciting in a mask to me. So if we look, I want to look, um, Victoria, at the ingredients of Dennis Gross's mask, because I looked just now and I couldn't see anything really exciting in the ingredients. Okay. Um, and it's his... It's his hyaluronic mask. Okay. It's got this gunky stuff here. But, you know, sometimes there's some real kerfuffles in masks. And it's got to be worth it. And I just, I was not happy with this first time around. But I'm going to do it for five minutes. Maybe I did it too long before. You put a white powder on top like that. Dennis Gross is a good American dermatologist. He's well respected. Many bloggers use his products. mean anything really oh I mean you know, what matters is how it works when it gets on your face so there we are doing a little chemistry in the bathroom um, and I'm gonna plop it on the skin I think it's gonna be like that sort of jelly stuff let me just see here easy to go on yeah and I hope that it's gonna set quite quickly because otherwise it'd be terribly tedious because I want to do some eye makeup with you later and um, and if I can't get it off quickly, it will be irritating. But it says you can leave it on even for just five minutes. So let's see if that's true and if it works. Um, yes, darling. Victoria. Uh, Rachel's asking, have you tried the new Charlotte Tilbury mask? Um, the Charlotte Tilbury sheet mask? I have not. 
I have not, and I feel bad. I'm going to try it, actually, because I've been trying her eye cream, which I actually really like. It's my, you know, I have my, um, let me just show you, actually. Hang on, I've got it here. I've got it here, okay. Have I put on enough? Have I put on enough? I think I've put on enough. All right, I think um, I'm interested to see her mask. I didn't like, I didn't like her clay mask. But some people tried her other mask and said it was great. And a few of you tried her mask and didn't like it. So I am yet to try it. It is on my list. Victoria, actually, can you make sure I get it today? Because I'm going to put an order into Charlotte Tilbury. But the eye cream, which I've got here, is, is very nice. It's got this consistency. If I do that for you. It's sort of, it's not spongy. It's not like those new spongy palettes. But it has something nice in it. And... What's quite good as an eye cream goes, because typical, where in her makeup she tries to put skincare benefits and in her skincare there's a bit of a makeup benefit. It's got a slight reflective sheen, do you see? So when you put it under your eye, uh, if you put this on and then just used a foundation and didn't use um, a, a kind of light reflecting uh, concealer, it, might, it might, might work quite well. So good product that. Let me show you a few good products this week, whilst I have my mask on, and the mask I'm trying, again, is Hyaluronic Marine Hydrating Model Mask. There we go. Okay, my boxes that I have all over my bathroom, I get from Muji here. Um, and I have quite a few of them. I usually list them by products that I'm reviewing. So I'll slowly build up a list. This is just how my bathroom works, all right? I'll get, for example, I'm now doing toners that's i was thinking what do i do for my next um one but i'm going to be doing toners because i've got a few i'm trying the nutrient toner from true botanics which is a really nice toner and i use toner properly in the 90s i didn't use it forever because i suddenly went into serum so my routine became cleansers and then a serum and then a or a vitamin c then a serum and then a moisturizer and recently I don't know who introduced me to it. May, you know who introduced me to it? It's Caroline Herons gave me um, to try, or I bought after. I can't remember how that worked. Let me just see if I've got it here. The um, P50, Biologic Recherche. Um, excuse me. I'm so well organized and I can't find it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. 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 Exfoliators. No. Okay. I will get it. Um, that's the original one I tried and it got me into it again. And then, uh, can you make the list now actually? Yeah. Can you make the list? Sorry, because then we can do two birds with one stone. So I'm going to do, I'm going to review True Botanicals. True Botanicals is a range. A lot of you are asking at the moment about a sort of natural range. This is a range with very good natural ingredients, but super, super strong. I'm quite surprised how they get some of them in their bottles. And they're a kind of upscale um, alternative organic range, US. Okay, that's there. They're going to go in there. I'm also going to put in there the Biologie Recherche um, P1. I'm also going to put in there, oh, have I got it here? Frances Prenner Jones. She has a product which is here. And it's called, so any of you who have an A, any of you who have a toner that you think is very good, that's budget, I'm looking for two budget toners because I got my expensive ones. Formula 2003, I think. No, it's Formula 2000 something. It's come off now. Very nice toner. Uh, AHA, BHA. Then I'm going to do Votary. Votary is another alter or, or alternative organic brand, and this is their toning serum. It's kind of a toner serum, had a baby, and I love that. So we're going to put that on. Uh, and any others? I'm building it up slowly. I'll probably, I might do it this Thursday if I have... I don't think I'll have enough to be trying some others, because I've been trying five, so I need to try two more. High street, inexpensive toners, but a toner with either an AHA, a BHA, a bit of glycolic, something like that. Give me your thoughts, ladies. Give me your thoughts, okay? Hang on. Yes, yes. Christina's asking, do acid toners replace physical exfoliators? Oh, that depends who you're talking to. Because according to India Knight in the Sunday Times this weekend, I think that was her premise. She was saying, you know, we don't need to be aggressive with our skin and go in there and cut it with exfoliators. We could use an exfoliating toner because 
Both of them are sloshing off dead skin cells. Okay, love the argument. For me, personally, I like still an exfoliating um, product that physically I put on my skin. Maybe I have very rough skin. I don't have oversensitive skin and that could be why I'm used to it. I've, had a, I've got a lot of scar tissue around my mouth area and I've had a lot of um, help in trying to rub that down by exfoliating daily for ever since I stopped my acne, which is about 15, 18 years ago. So I like both. I put on both. People might say that overdoes the skin, but my skin is okay and it's doing all right. And I don't feel it's slackening because I'm putting on both. So that's my view. That's my view. All right. Another, um, let me just put that away. So I then, with my, with my, uh, with my, these, I have this, my baby, my friend. This is for anal people who might be in the room. Dynamo. I always call it my Dynamo Rod, which is actually a product to uh, unblock your toilet. No. Uh, so this product allows you to print out labels. Very simple. And uh, so I put on here, so I just always do this. So I'm going to do Secret 7 because that's the, um, that's the one I'm doing next. Uh, secret seven numbers, numbers, where have they gone? I haven't got numbers here for some reason. Secret, why have I got, I've got numbers? Okay, oh, there's numbers. Seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Toners. Um, T, T, T. Thank you, I'm very slow. Um, darling, is there anyone asking questions whilst I'm being really slow or saying hello that I should say that in? Have you used Environ products at all? I have. You, ladies, you also know a lot about Environ. I have used it. Um, and it's printing. And it's not coming out. Oh, and it's coming out. There we go. I've used Environ. I used the... Um, it goes up Environ. You sort of start with two, three, and four in terms of strength. And I went up to four, and I really liked it. They have a different routine than everybody else, but there's some very good ingredients in there. I like the way that it's sold through practitioners who need to know a little bit about what they're talking about before they sell it to you. So I think it's good and I really rate it. Uh, I don't know if it first came from South Africa in Viral, Victoria. Yeah, um, but it's good, yes. You know I love a product that isn't something that you just buy in a department store. I like a product that you have to have a little bit of advice to get it or it has to be prescribed by a beauty beautician. Uh, or it has to be available in a medical spa because I always feel those kind of products thank you are only allowed to be sold um, with uh, expert advice because they have quite strong ingredients better than going to Boots and buying Vichy I always say Vichy don't I that's quite bad of me okay uh, can we now um, have we got more questions um, so Karen is asking how long do you get a product before you expect results that's very, that's very true. I mean, that's a very good point. I probably, um, I've tried, for example, this mask by uh, Dr. Gross. I've tried it twice, actually, and I wasn't so happy, but I was in a rush one time, left it on a long time the other time. This will be my third time, and if I don't like it, I will, um, I will bin it, and I'll tell you all it's shit. Uh, if I am trying... A serum, I'll probably try it for two weeks um, minimum to see if it has an effect on my skin. If I'm trying a night product, I usually give up my other routines and I try just that routine uh, and I probably give it two weeks. That's why I take quite a long time to uh, get back to you. So if some of you recommend a product, um, so let's say you all throw in here and I haven't seen you do it yet. AHA, BHA toners that you are using that you rate that you think are great, I'll do the toner thing probably in a month because I'll need to try them all. Yeah, okay. So our does come from South Africa. It does, okay. <laughs> My um, thing's good. Okay, uh, what else are I Ah, a, cons an, a new, a new balm, um, a new balm cleanser that I love but has the shittiest opening is Pestle and Mortar and it's called Renew. Let me just do it like that. Renew. Hang on. Uh, there. Renew. Uh, so, how is it good? It's good once you go down to this. 
you know when you want to have your cleanser in one hand and your mask and your face cloth in the other so you do this and it's very tricky getting it out you could do it like that to get it out whichever way but the consistency I'm just going to show you uh, is one where it's got this real kind of penetrative oily balminess to it uh, some of them it's probably if I had to compare it to the white company one I reviewed the other day that was done for Desiem I'd say it's similar I'd say this one is a looser oilier product the other one is more balmy this is more this is more oily than Vaseline if you kind of see what I mean but the smell is really really so nice very clean there's a bit of a smell of wax like a sort of when you're going to have a hot wax at a salon it smells like that uh, but I'm finding it's quite hydrating and sometimes I put it on at night to clean off everything and just done nothing else afterwards because I've wanted to have a very just I wanted my skin to totally breathe and it's felt hydrated enough for me to do that because my skin can be quite dry and usually I'd put things on to make it feel it was got the balance levels again but with this one I don't need to so I love this I have no idea how much it is because it came in a bag that I got from Phoenix, I think when I bought um, a few months ago I bought lots of products and they gave this bag full of goodies very nice of them. Um, okay, I'm going to take this mask off. It's been about five minutes. And first of all, this is the issue. Is it going to come off easily? This is where I really don't like these products if they take forever to come off. See, look. Hang on. See, it's not ready to come off. It said five minutes. Oh, you can wait five minutes. Now, you want to be able to get this something like this and just pull it off in one, don't you? You really do. Oh, hang on. That's... Oh, that's just coming off much quicker than it did before. Maybe I did leave it on too long. Okay. Okay. <laughs> God. Questions, ladies? Great. Questions? Uh, Jan, Jam is asking, is baking soda good for the face as an exfoliant mixed with a cleanser? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I didn't hear that before. I think that's an exceptionally good consistency baking soda. If I had some downstairs, in, I would rush down and get it now, but Lila has used it all to make some cakes recently. Um, I think that's a very good idea. I love that. Should we, do a should we do a home economics in the kitchen? Would you like to, ladies? I think avocado masks could be on the agenda. Okay, let me just get this off. You see, this is a bit irritating. It's just not easy to come off, and then it's leaving a little bit of residue. And if you're in a rush, you know, you put on a mask to go out for a date, uh, go out, see your husband, go out, make an effort with girlfriends, whatever reason, and you're sort of left with, ah, irritating. Is my skin better though? Is my skin? Oh, you know what, I have to, this kills me to say, but my skin looks better. Um, I kind of want it not to work because it's so irritating to get off. Everyone's saying yes to home economics. Yes to home economics. Okay, should we do? All right, I'd like, ladies, I'd like you all, let's do sharing net mumsy kind of situation here. I'd love you all to send in your clever recipe. And I'm looking for, re I'm not just looking for, I plonk a cucumber on under my eyes. I'm looking for killer recipes you use that transform your skin that you think to yourself this is something i nearly should bottle and make and sell because that's how many beauty brands start all right so i want you to do that and um and we'll see and i'll test them all well i'll test the ones i like i have two myself which avocado based ones which i do in the summer when i'm staying with friends and and the avocados are cheap um, let me just see if this really is good, this mask. You see, I've got to, I have to now take off the rest with, um, a flannel because it won't come off on a trough. Um, so that's irritating. But my skin is looking a bit better. My skin is looking a bit better. Mm. Yeah, it is. It is. All right. So I'm going to do something else now which is not to be massaging, because at this stage of the game, I'd probably just massage my face with something. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to massage my face with something. I'm going to take a facial oil. Which facial oil am I going to take? 
and do a bit of massage and wake it up. Serum, 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 oil, oil. This is why I've got to start <coughs> sorting this out because I can't suddenly find anything. Hilary is asking, what type of flannels do you use? I use the White Company or I use Peter Jones four pound flannel or two pound flannels. All my oils have gone. It's really weird. Really weird. What's this one? Ah, oh, Kahini Brightening Serum. I do love it. Oh, I love that product. I've got to get more of it. So I'm really sorry, ladies. This is dreadful that I'm either looking so blind that I can't find any of my oils. This is weird. Bit embarrassed by that one. Okay, so skin balancing oil I'm going to use, anti aging oil, energizing nine skin oil. This is a great product. This is what I need this morning. Okay, um, MV, I think it's an Australian brand, uh, organic skincare, and um, dull, congested, and sun damaged skin. It's got, I think it's got nine oil. I think it's got some omegas in it. But I'm just going to do that and a little bit of rubbing. My skin is a bit brighter. I think I'm getting there. I've got on some very good little products to, um, uh, clothing things I've been buying. I've been obsessed with and other stories. If any of you follow me on Facebook, you will see that I did and other stories last week. Great store. And I've got a few little things from there. I'm doing today with Chloe, I'm finishing off my trouser story. So I'm gonna show you all the different ways to wear trousers this season. And I have some outrageous jeans, which are just kind of, I don't know if I have turned into Ziggy Stardust, um, but they kind of make me feel good. So we'll do that. Okay, questions, darling? Caroline's asking, what is your take on facial rollers? Well, I love facial rollers. Are you new to this? Are you new to me? Um, I do a number of different facial rollers and I have a few. My favorite facial roller is the, um, you know what? I've got the case Stimulova. I get it on the internet and I do this. I haven't actually done this. You know what? I'm realizing why my skin's been a bit dodgy is I haven't done my rolling for a few days. That's so amazing. I've forgotten it from my routine. I don't know what has been going on. Maybe with Lila going to France, my brother moving to Australia. My brother is moving to Australia. Oh, I'm going to miss him. He moves this Friday and you will all be so lucky to have him in your country. But I'm gonna so miss him because he's such a fantastic, he's like the best brother in the entire world. And he's always been there for me. And thank God for the internet. And thank God it's not 15 years ago. And I can sort of, you know, be Skyping him and talking to him like he's in the next room. But whenever the shit hit the fan when I was growing up, he'd always be the one to defend me. So anyway, he's got a lovely wife and children. And half of the, his children are moving there with him and half are living here. Anyway, what am I going on about that for? Just thinking about it quite a lot this week. Michelle, okay, yes. Michelle's asking, have you tried skin needling? I've tried skin needling, darling. Michelle, you haven't been with us long either. I, I usually use this one. Uh, and I do skin needling about twice a week. Once a week, definitely. Maybe twice a week. Probably once a week I do a light one with a 0 0.3 needle. 0 0.5 needle. Um, and then I do a kind of deeper one where I might break a tiny bit of here, break a tiny bit of flesh because I'm needling a little bit stronger. Uh, and that's just to kind of help the, my scarring around my chin area, which is left by acne. So, final wake up. You see me do this all a lot, but I like to gently pinch my cheeks, lift the cheekbones and move the skin in an upwardly direction. Because when you sleep, I always find when I sleep, I'm like that and I'm pushing it all down. So I like to lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. And then we do a little jog. And now I'm waking up now. I'm waking up, it's now about quarter to eight in London and I'd better get up and ready for the day. So I'm gonna do my makeup routine and show you that. And I'm gonna show you my shockingly bright outfit for the day. Okay. Um, ladies, you're probably half of you 
in Australia, chilling out, lying on your bed, watching me on Facebook with a glass of wine. <laughs> well, this is how convenient life is today. Karen's saying, will you come visit us more often in Oz now your brother's... Oh, well, that's the thing! I was thinking, let me come and do a tour of Oz. Seriously. When I said to my brother, he said, when are you going to visit? And I said, you know what, you give me the best excuse, because when my little... When my little exciting things all start to happen in September, um, I was thinking I'd quite like to come to Oz and, uh, and show you ladies what I'm doing and see my brother. So I've done my little facial massage. I think my skin has finally woken up, thank God. Um, what I'm going to do is actually take off the excess oil, like that, just a little bit, because I don't want it too oily. I'm going to do makeup. You've been asking me a bit about makeup, and I'm going to do a little makeup routine with you. So, I feel so much better. I hope you feel better. You know what? When you do wake up and your skin is dreadful and you feel incredibly tired, that skin makes me feel more tired. It makes me feel more drained. And then if you catch sight of yourself out in the mirror and you've cleaned up your skin and you've woken it up, you feel woken up. You know what? Deal with the outside to feel better on the inside is how I've really worked out a lot of my life. Um, maybe because I'm a little bit vainer than other people, but I kind of think if I, if I just feel I catch sight and I don't look tired in the mirror and I'm feeling chirpy, it makes my whole attitude to everything I'm doing chirpy. It's just how life is. I'm going to put a little bit of the toning serum on um, from the uh, lovely Votary. They say four to five drops, which may, means I always use about ten. Um, just put that on because it is a toner. It's got a little bit of hyaluronic acid in it, glycolic acid, and smells of lemons. It's delicious. I can't wait to review it properly with you because I'm really loving it. Then I'm going to put on... Ooh, yes. Finally, this is... Eborian do a CC cream, fantastic CC cream, SPF 30, really great product. But they also do a ginseng, ginseng royal jelly powder, um, moisturizer. And Eborium are a Korean based brand. If you're in Australia, I'm sure you'll find them there. Uh, any questions, Victoria? Because my thing isn't working with um, my questions. B is asking, what were the vitamins you recommended for hair? Ah. Oh. Well, I'm using at the moment, and I am finding it's helping, biotin. And biotin is a um, vitamin which a friend of mine who is a biochemist, who I trust on vitamin intake, because she's the one who sort of said to me, vitamin C kind of works, but it's got to be really slow releasing because actually it's just got to be peed out. So she did say, I've been taking three in the morning, three at night, and I've really noticed my, my, um, my hair has started growing again. So... Here, where I'm getting a little bit of a um, hair loss, that has started growing a bit. I think biotin is helping. So I use mainly that. All right, I need to have... Okay, my little morning routine is going to be... Hmm, what concealer am I going to do? I'm going to do mid-range. I'm going to do a drugstore concealer for you, ladies. Let's try and do... In fact, just to show you the ease of life, I'm going to do one side, I'm going to do um, high street makeup, the other side designer, okay? Uh, so I'm going to start on one side with my NYX um, concealer, which I love. Uh, I've used this now for about a year, and I think it's a great, great concealer, that side. And on the other side, I'm going to do Charlotte Tilbury um, concealer on that side. There we go. All right, slightly different colour, but um, and they're both going to be. I'm going to do cream-based products, all of them. All right, so let's just blend that in. I'm going to blend in this. Hang on, I actually want to blend in with my finger. Um, I have been a strong believer, and it's not just my age that I like cream-based products more than powder products. And I think the main reason for this, ladies, is that I like things that don't. Um, don't show too much on my face. I don't want to feel that I see the pigment on my skin before I see my skin. But I do want to feel my skin has been slightly blurred. So, all right. Charlotte Tilbury's product of those two has slightly more light reflecting properties in it. 
I'm sorry, the light's a bit washed out here. Let me try and come to you at a different angle. No. Yeah. Um, and NYX, but from afar, they're both, they're both good. They're both good. Okay, uh, now I'm going to do, ooh, foundations, tinted moisturizers. Let's do. Catherine's asking what the best concealer to cover acne. <clears throat> to cover acne, is it current acne? It's acne marks. Acne marks. Mm. I would say if they're very, very strong, I think Laura Mercier's Secret Camouflage is one of the best concealers because it will cover everything. Uh, so I would rate that. The kind of under eye concealer ones don't because they're not going to be strong enough for you. But you want something that you can keep blending in. Oh, I'll tell you another one I think is great actually. It's really good, is Vanish which is by Hourglass. It's quite expensive. It's, it is really expensive. So it depends on your budget. But this is a concealer and a foundation in one. And it does cover incredibly well. I'm just putting some on my hand for you to see now. It covers well and you hardly see it. So I, I think it's great. I would try that too. All right, heading back here, I'm doing a foundation serum from Bourjois Healthy Skin on my high street face. Where was my high street face? This side. All right, so there. And I love this foundation serum. I think it works incredibly well because it's a sort of gel foundation. It's got a few fruit acids in it. You can smell them. Um, and the skin does look like you've just got glowing skin with a little bit of even skin tone added. So that's Bourjois. And I am using, it's called Healthy Mix Serum. There we go. See, it's very nice. Okay, I'm going to put that on, darling. I'm going to give these to you now. Actually, I'll forget. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to forget. And then on the other side is my nice expensive foundation serum, if I have it. Oh, please let me have it. Yes. A different colour. Uh, this is, I mean, similar, but about £30 pounds difference. This is by Terry, one of the most expensive foundation serums. Uh, and it's called Wrinkle Control Serum, I think. Yes, Wrinkle Control Serum Foundation. So I'm going to put that on my other side, on my Charlotte Tilby side. Yeah. Uh, and I always use this when I use it at night because I think it's quite French in its composition. They're quite pink based foundations, but it does even out everything really well. It is a proper foundation, but there's some properties you know, there's some skincare benefits in it. And I quite like the idea that I don't do a serum and then a foundation, I do a serum foundation. So that's Charlotte Tilbury and by Terry, and this is Bourgeois and NYX. Okay, now we're gonna go, well, you know what? Couldn't tell the difference either side of my skin. Okay, now I'm gonna go onto a bit of blusher and I'm going to do, this is where it's tricky because I like cream-based blushers. Mm. But I found, actually, I've got here, I've got here. So I'm going to do on one side, let's hope that's cream-based, yes. Max Factor, it's so tricky finding a cream-based blusher um, in, in High Street. But Max Factor do this little cream-based blusher. They have two, and I quite like, I'm going to show you both the colours, actually. They might have three, but these are the only two colours I thought were decent. The others were really not good. There. I think this colour I'm going to use today, and I'll, I'll put out at the end what name of this colour it is. So, we'll just do here, and I've put the blusher just there. Okay, oh, I've put quite a lot on. But very soft, pretty colour. Little bit of shine to it. There. Great, and then the other side, an expensive blusher that has a little bit of punch. I'm going to do, oh, that's a similar colour actually, sort of. This is by, oh shit, excuse me. It could be Burberry, but it might not be. So let me put my glass on just to check who it's by. Any other questions, darling? Be saying, have you tried Max Factor CC Cream? It's great. Max Factor CC Cream. This is Laura Mercier and um, it's called Sangria. Have I tried Max Factor CC Cream? I haven't, I will, but is it for dry skin or is it for um, uh, oily skin? Tell me. Um, let me look it up. Okay, nice, very similar. Cream base, cream base, all the way. 
Like, I like that. I forgot how much I like that from Laura Mercier. All right, then we're going to do a tinted... Are we going to do a tinted lip or are we going to do some eye colour? Let's do some eye colour. If you're asking me about eyes, obviously. So, I'm going to do a little bit of Max Factor Excess Shimmer, um, which is my cheap, which is my cheap side. That side, okay. So I'm just going to put it on my lid. When you do cream-based products on your eyes, I always start right on the lid and I just blend back. And you ask me a lot which colours I have on when I have this kind of colour on, either by Tilbury or Max Factor or one of my own. Barbara's asking, does NYX make a cream blush? Now, I don't know. They have six or seven hundred products and I don't know if they make a cream blush um but I will find out if they do I want to go back to boots this week and just see what other high street I haven't been high street makeup shopping for a while have I ladies okay so quite like that it's a sort of subtle sorry I've got to finish it off here because I do need to see if I'm doing real balls up but that's just quite a nice shade for um, a blue eye. It's, a quite, it's quite a nice neutral shade altogether. There are not many high street, really inexpensive, cream-based um, eye shades that I like. NYX have a couple, but they're never in stock. Um, and that is really nice for Max Factor. I will put that on. And then on the other side, I'm going to do a... Hmm. I'm going to do a... What am I going to do? What have I got similar? Okay, I've got very similar Charlotte Tilbury here, um, which is, I'll put the name on it afterwards, but I'm just going to do exactly the same idea. Again, a lovely cream-based product. I find them much easier to blend just using your fingers and tapping, and then just slowly going up to your brow bone. And I just build this up gently. I had no idea here. I'm not looking in the mirror, I'm afraid. This has a bit more shimmer. A little bit more shimmer to it. There we go, let's have a look. Yes, nice. And you know what I'm going to do today, ladies? Mascara, because I have no lashes left on. So, which woo which woo Okay. I'm trying one lots of you love, and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it for the first time, which is the Ico Black Magic. I got it at BA, um, in the BA lounge. I'm going to do this as High Street, because I've got a very... Um, expensive one I'll do otherwise so there when I put now when I put mascara on I was taught by Mary Greenwell years ago to go right in to the edges and twist and pull out twist and pull out twist and pull out like that and the reason that she said to do this is not so easy to do by the way with a slightly curved brush which I've got in my hand but the reason she said to do this is you I quite like the look where you make nearly an eyeliner um, with the mascara close to your eye and then when you're pulling it out you can then go back later and, and do more but I just so I go right in and I twist twist and turn twist and turn and then I pull out you see it's given a sort of eyelinery feel there we go and then I do do under my lashes a little bit. I could do an eyeliner today, but I'm not going to. All right, now expensive. Oh, that's a nice, that is such a nice mascara. So nice to try a nice mascara. Okay, then the other side, I'm doing Chantecai, which is a moisturizing mascara. This is a totally other end of the brush. It could be more than six months old now, but this is a moisturizer that's meant, uh, a mascara that's meant to moisturize your eyelashes. So again, I go in, I turn and twist, and I pull out. Have I put some on my upper eye? Maybe. So I go in and I turn and twist and I pull out. I think what's good about the Chantecaille is that mascaras can dry out your eyelashes. And um, this one is meant to really help to hydrate your eyelashes. So I like the idea of it. I bought it in a flurry, 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 flourish. There. Okay. Done that. And I'm going to end with a little bit of lip. So I can't really be like a weird mannequin. Um, what am I going to do? I quite like to show you a tint. Oh, I'm just going to end with my favourite cha-cha tint, I'm afraid. 
Yeah. I, this is something I do at the moment every day. I put this Cha Cha uh, product on, I blend it in, then I take my Laura Mercier Bellini and I put it on top. And that's my favourite go to makeup. And then I put on top of that, I put, but I haven't got it here, so I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to do a high street one. I'm going to do a high street one. A lip pencil. Now, I like lip pencils some days, and other days I feel it's too much work, but this one is. Um, let me get my little high street one I like. Hillary's asking how long is mascara good for? Six months. Laverna. Laverna. This is a brand that is an organic brand sold in Fresh and Wild. And it does the most delightful eyebrow product and um, lip pencil. Really love it. Ending up with brow. Ending up with brow. And I'm going to do one side. Bobby Brown which is my expensive side there and the other side I'm going to do MAC which is not that expensive I mean it's not that cheap but I just I'm just trying to do two for you okay all right ladies I'm done I'm going to get changed uh and um what what we're going to do I'm going to get changed you want to come with me come with me hang on come with me okay come with me okay hold that there just hold that there so I hope we've been helpful today so my look of the day today is jigsaw UK brand, brand, and they've done a few sort of designery things, and this is their yellow silk top, and I love this top. I'm wearing Fenrite and Mason trousers in pink. I think they're about 20 or 30 pounds. Um, and then I'm wearing my favorite mad holographic trainers and my pink Marge coat. So, ladies, for those of you who stuck it out today, it was very convoluted. Um, have a wonderful week and we might be going shopping later on this week I think we might go to French Connection and also I was thinking we might go to Next so see you have a great time